welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and today I've got Jill from our sales team with us, and we're gonna be taking a quick look at the 2022 Forest River Impression 320 FL. This is a front living fifth wheel. It's a mid profile, so that means it's pretty darn lightweight, which we think is awesome. The reason I've really brought Jill with me today is to illustrate these mid profile fifth wheels may not be the greatest solution for super tall people like myself at six foot three. I <laughs> definitely hit the ceiling in the very, very front, but in the center of the room, it actually does accommodate my six foot three self. I touch the ceiling, but barely. So that's kind of cool. Overall though, I have to say, this is an awesome front living arrangement. We've got plenty of room for friends and family. Got lots of couches, lots of seating space, and these two couches even convert to beds for guests. Yeah, and you have your recliners uh, just directly in front of the TV, gives you enough room to see everything. You have your fireplace here, it does put out heat, it heats enough to heat this space and on into the kitchen. You have your sound bar, and this TV actually goes down into this area so you can see the front window. That's pretty cool, and there's plenty of storage all around it for all of your DVDs and blankets and other things that you might keep in the living room. Absolutely. There's even charging stations on either side of the TV, both 120 and the little 12 volt USB ports. That's kind of fun. And then pushing downstairs, we end up in our kitchen. I think this kitchen is awesome for a lot of reasons. As I was looking at it earlier when it first came in, I was like, man, this is a big kitchen and a front living arrangement. And I realized they got there because there is no dinette and there is no table, no booth, no table. But they, what they did to replace that is give us this big counter with like a breakfast bar set up with these really nice stools on the end of it. Right, and they still have plenty of storage here um, up top and on the bottom. No lack of storage at all in this area. Um, you have a great pantry here. You can actually remove these shelves. And then they give you these nice little cubbies to put stuff in. Chalkboard front if you wanted to write anything on that. You have a three burner um, oven here. And then great space. Also 12 volt Furion refrigerator. Very cool. I've noticed that they've dedicated space here on the countertop. That could either be a wet bar. You could use it because they put a plug there as your coffee station or for your toaster. There's loads of counter space over here for prepping a meal. I think that's kind of awesome. We've even got cabinetry up above just for extra storage. If it wasn't such a bright day, we'd have this window open because that looks right out onto your patio. You can see the kids out there playing. That's kind of a neat feature. They even put a skylight in here, which really accentuates all of the light color tones in here and really makes it feel kind of open. Another thing that I think is neat that they've done is putting our main control panel right here by the door as you come in. I think that's a slick feature. There's even a touch screen panel from LCI up top that'll run all of our systems as well as leveling. It even has Bluetooth capabilities. So that's kind of a neat feature as well. Pushing on back, we have our bathroom. It's right here accessible from the hallway. Yeah, and we got a porcelain uh, toilet here. We have a great size shower with also another skylight. You have your max air vent at the front or at the top right here. You have plenty of storage also here in this bathroom. No lacking there either. And then directly into the bedroom after that. The bedroom's pretty spacious for not having a bed on a slide. By putting it in the back, even though it's mid profile, there's loads of ceiling height in here. And they've added extra storage to it by putting in that small slide on that side. That kind of extends the closet space in the sense that if you open that up, you've got three of those nice big yes. doors with hanging rod all the way across. And then some little baskets down right. below. And yep. then what's the door behind by you? Got a large side closet here, large size closet. These are actually removable shelves as well. You have your washer and dryer hookup in here as that option if you wanted that. Um, you have your TV hookup right here at the very foot of the bed, which is great for for a uh, good distance whenever you're laying in bed to watch mm -hmm. TV. Yep. Now, um, this is equipped with a solar panel on the roof. It has a 30 amp charge controller that's gonna keep your batteries topped off. In addition to that, this is a 50 amp service camper with two air conditioners. One of them is dedicated to the bedroom back here. I guarantee that can freeze you out on a hot <laughs> summer night. 
And then we have other storage in the sense that we have very traditional finishings in the back where it's left and right closets. They've gone and done something kind of fun by adding these little cubbies inside. Those are easily removed. And then we've got nightstands on either side of the bed with their own plugs for charging up phones or just setting up an alarm clock, whatever that case may be. There's even storage under the bed. Yeah. If we lift that up, it's strut assisted. Lots of space yes. down there. That's kind of cool. And overall, I'm feeling like this is a pretty fantastic front living floor plan. It's lightweight. It's relatively short given the entirety of it. The layout is nice and open. This kitchen and living room really flow well together. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's a great unit. You can have multiple people in here. No problem. Have plenty of elbow room and just have a great space to have fun. That's right. Come on down and see it for yourself in person at Southern RV or visit us online at southernrv.com. And as always guys, until next time, happy, happy camping. camping.